Not bad. What's their... Oh, their public order's close to breaking. Yes, master. Let's see. You move up this way. So I sort of want to send him into the next mountain pass. Okay, there we go. That's better. Alright, you head up this mountain pass. We've got this fellow hanging out near Samosata. He could hang out in Samosata. I think he'd still have the range to see things as well. Yeah, he's got good range from there. You, I sort of want to keep there. You need to hang out in this mountain pass. Alright, so there's not really a whole ton down this way. I really need two or three spies down here. But this is basically their heartland. This is, a, this is a very, very wealthy area. If you can take it and hold it, you basically cut them off from a ton of, uh, a ton of income. But unfortunately, the uh, AI on higher difficulties does get a massive advantage and it gets extra money. Did you get it? No, you did not. It gets a ton of extra money for achieving, uh, for you know, being on a higher difficulty. So it can compete with the player more effectively. This worries me, because they keep sending armies up this way. They're not at war with the Seleucids anymore, I don't think. I wonder if we could buy them off. There is a diplomat in there. Yes, Cassius Calpurnius Bester, apparently. Alright, would you be willing to have a ceasefire? The wise and belligerent Pharaoh sees no reason to stop fighting just yet. Okay then. And he's tactless now. Nice. A city grows, Libaum. Alright, we'll get some more stuff over there. We need to keep hopping with our armies and such, so first things first, let's get that done. Where did I leave... You. Ready to sail. Oh, tiny, tiny bit more movement and you could make it right there. But, it might actually be quicker to drop the army off here and have them march this way. And get on another set of ships here. Yeah, because if we have to sail around the bottom of Sparta, that's two turns anyway. Three, because we need to get there, then we can probably only get to about here. Maybe here, if we're lucky. Or Athens. So that's at least three turns anyway. If they march over land, they can't be intercepted by rebel navies. So let's do that. We can probably pick up some good mercenaries too. No? Nothing good right now? Alright, well they'll recharge next uh, next turn anyway. Winter halves movement, if I remember correctly, so he should be able to make it to here next turn. So if we split off two ships, say. Hmm. Nah, let, let's not bother. Let's not bother for now. We should move to... What have, what have we got in terms of reinforcements? A ton of good units to back up people. So basically units that we chuck into cities to make them harder for the enemy to take while we retreated. Hmm. They can pretty much, because of the road network, get anywhere really, really quickly anyway. So let's drop them off in your Pokemon. And you can make it back. Perfect. You did drop everyone off, yes. Alright. Perfect, perfect. And you can start moving up towards where we need to go. Can you get a mercenary captain still? Oh, you already have one. Okay, but you can get a third unit of them. And we'll grab the Galatians too. So there we go. He's got an even bigger army now. It's not an army that I put up in a uh, stand-up fight with the Seleucids, but it's got a lot of Thracians. So we can deal them out to uh, the armies like Herius, Sabinus, and um, Drusus. Drusus needs more infantry. I sort of wanted to give these guys back to Sabinus, though. Um, okay, how many units does he have? He's got one, two, three, four, five, six. Six units of infantry. Good Roman infantry. Ooh. 
Well. We can probably steal this back. This needs to be our reserve. And I forgot to get rid of that damn artillery. Because I've changed my mind, I don't want artillery. They will slow me down, I need to be moving quickly. Go away. There we go, see, that's, that's what I'm talking about. Much better. Much, much better. Okay, uh, we will cancel all creation of artillery. In any city. Actually, I don't think I did any this time. I think I was smart. No, no, I do. I did do some. I was not a clever man. All right, so one unit of cavalry from you. You can forget about cavalry. Give me legionaries instead. Better. You. No. All right, cool. March over there. Let's get all these guys together. I think they're almost another army. We really should get rid of those bastards as well. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six cohorts. One first cohort. Yeah, yeah, they're almost ready. You recruiting? Yeah, they're they're pretty much ready. Uh, do we have a general for them? Is the question. Victor. Probably scrape a general somewhere. Actually, wasn't there a general leading a legion who was, like, really, really young? Imperator. No. Augustus was second in command. Sir. Maybe not. Maybe I was wrong. But we're running out of family members, which is annoying. Because of the, the rule that we made where we have to use them. Imperator. Um, I guess we could get Sinner back. He's a pretty good soldier. What about um, the orator? He's decent. He's decent. Isn't there a young one? Yeah, there is a young one. But he's not a commander. He's most definitely not a commander. One of them died here. He got assassinated, didn't he? Are there two? General. No, it's just the one. I think Imperator. we'll recall Sinner. Because the Carthaginians haven't really been poking us very much. And we can always bring uh, the army that's up there back if we need to. So, Ready to sail. you have, yeah, you've got the reinforcements for this area anyway. Bring him over here. Alright, you guys go there. I will choose where you were needing to go in a minute. You need to get on board and camp out here for a minute. And then next turn, we will try and get him as close to this area as we can. We'll start marching these guys down to probably near Tarentum because we can send this navy back to ferry them back and forth. Okay, we have a plan. I like it when we have plans, because plans mean we're making progress. Okie dokie, so you guys are coming along nicely. I believe we had about half, yeah we have about half legion here that we can send. One turn until you guys are done with actually producing legionaries. That could work. We could put uh, Skavola in command of that. We could, we could. I don't think we have another general sitting around. He, he doesn't count. Because he's our faction leader. You are the faction heir. You're actually a decent commander, though. You are a decent commander. You're not perfect, but you're good. Ish. Okay, we got most of the casualties back. Could probably march out with these fellows in this city. I wonder if we'd get any good mercenaries, though. That's the thing. Hello, who are you? If you're sitting there... 
That could mean there's more of you. There's a rebel navy. Ready to sail. <sighs> Ready to You're expendable. Sail. You're also better ships than what he's got. Attack. Kill. Thank you. Alright, that's the Lucid Navy. It was over here before, and that army... I don't think it got off the boat. Alright, let's probe in this direction just a little bit. Hello. I think they were chasing these guys. Damn. If I attack... I'm pretty sure that this navy's boned. How far can you go? Alright, we might be able to outrun them. And we could probably see these guys off. I don't know what they've got. I'm assuming biremes. But do you have an army on you? <gasps> we have to. We have to, because that army, if it lands anywhere over here, can probe at our soft underbelly. Which is sort of exactly what we did to the Seleucids. We have to kill this son of a bitch. Go. Attack. Clear victory. Did he sink? He sank. <laughs> yes. Okay. Um, if we can make it to that Seleucid Navy and beat it, I think we can sail this Navy back to Arsenault next turn and then to Rhodes and save it. Go. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Son of a bitch. Alright, well. Let's lock that in. Assassin misses target. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of foolish to try that anyway, I think. Hmm. I wonder if the Thracians and the Iberians are at war yet. That'd be cool if they ended up fighting each other and just left everything else alone. So, how many factions are still living? Let's have a look. Own faction? No. Custom? No. Neighboring? Top five? Well, we're all in top five. Living factions. That includes Numidia and Carthage. Germania is still around and the Sarmatians. How does that change from the top five? Wow. So there's like eight factions in the game still. We're at war with two of them. Well, three of them. One, two, three... Four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, there's eight other factions in the game. Because everyone else has died. Wow. How about that? Okay. Well, we should probably be on the lookout then on our borders. We should probably start strengthening them. We need to start hiring soldiers again. Like, soldier soldiers. Problem is... Don't really have a whole ton of places that we can actually get these buildings at. You're almost done with the Roman citizenship though, so that's good. Athens can start pumping out actual Roman troops. You are almost done with the provincial barracks, so that's something, but I think then you need to build. Oh no, you've got everything, do you? Yeah, you've got a siege engineer too. Can you build a. <gasps> yes, perfect. Alright, does current have it? I can't remember. It's been so long since we were micromanaging these guys. They do? Okay. So in three turns, or is it one? One turn they can start building a Roman citizenship, and in four turns these guys will start building one too. You're working on a phase three. We should queue up the Hippodrome, but before we do that I want to see if we can bribe something. Because I don't want to spend all our money and then uh, find out that we could have spent it on better things. We don't really need you sitting there. You can go ahead this way. So that he can keep moving. Actually, so he can keep moving down this way. Perfect. Now we have line of sight on both sides. Damascus and Pamela. I'm hoping that what's going to happen is that the, the uh, Egyptian Empire decides to backstab the Seleucids and try to snap up all these tasty little, little places here. Because if they do, we've got a real shot at expanding our uh, area of control. I'd like to take Salamis as well, because Salamis would provide a perfect naval base. So we're going to take as many of these good soldiers as we possibly can out of side and see how angry that makes them. 
It doesn't. Sweet. Okay, in that case, get over there. Get over there indeed. Can you can you beseech? No, that'll have to wait till next turn. But we have a spy in there, don't we? We do. So it's possible he might open the gate. You guys are surrendering this turn. Yeah, yeah, we have to give Drusus this infantry. Has to be done. Can you guys make it to Drusus? You can. I'm confident he can fight them off, though. They can both make it, though. So, what's he got? Oh, hello, what? The Agira Speedies Legionor Legionaroi are men in the prime of their lives trained in the Roman fashion. They get Roman copies? Cheeky bastards. These forces were formed after the defeat, after the disaster at Magnesia in response to the new Roman threat. These reforms were started by An Antiochus IV and similar reforms happened in Egypt. They get copies. I wonder how good they are. That could be bad. I'm hoping that they don't have very many of them. I'd imagine that's probably the case. That they've got some, but not very many. Okay, we need to send spies down that way, because I need to increase the coverage we've got of that area. Okay, you hang out over here. I know we've got four, three or four spies in here? Three. But I just want to be able to... I want to be sure. Okay, you're going to have to be a reserve. You're going to have to be a floating reserve. I'm going to place you right there, because that way you can get to either of these people if we need you to. Where are you going to go, though? And what are you going to do? You have an army. What is this army made up of? Oh. Oh, oh, oh. That could be bad. Yeah, these are the heavy cavalry that they've got that are like companion cav. <clears throat> They're very, very good. I'm pretty sure Antiochus the Great is also Antiochus the Fourth, because he reigned for ages and ages and ages and ages, if I'm remembering my ancient history right. He was like 75 or something when he died. What have you got? <clears throat> okay, it seems like perhaps... These Roman copy guys are very few in number. I need you closer to me, actually. I need to make sure that I can see what's going on. All right, Persian Sparabara, what do they have in here? Regulars, regular guys. Sparabara, who are you? Okay. Okay, that looks sort of promising. What are you? You look... God damn it, give me that view again. You look. Oh, just curious, speedies. Pezoi. Hmm. -mm. Thing is, if we have to fight both of these guys at once, that's going to be a very, very tricky proposition. Because these guys can just keep funneling troops up that way. Pretty sure they have more men than we do. I hope I'm very wrong. Alright, let's include both of them, because we want to look at military ranking. Actually, no. That's probably all their forces right there. Well, all the major forces. And we're almost on parity with the Seleucids. That's good. I know, I'm tempted to divert the second legion that we're creating down this way. Strike at Alexandria and Memphis and that sort of thing. See if we can broker a peace deal. Because we only need this, this in Jerusalem, I think. Yeah, we need Alexandria and Jerusalem. Those are the only two cities that we need that they have. We need also Antioch. Antioch's the only other Seleucid city we need. And we need Alicia and Oscar. And that's Alicia there. And Oscar is here. How good are you? You're actually not that bad don't think we could bribe them, but I'll see if we can swap maps. They will give money, they want maps, but I don't want your money, I want, um, 
I want your maps. So I'll just ask for their maps. What would you like to give me? They would not like to give me anything for those. Okay, fair enough. Um, hmm. We could and probably should assault this place. I would love to get some more of these guys. So they're very, very good. They're sort of Roman copies too, but obviously they're the good guys. Um, Alright, well, if we transfer this legion and the, uh, the next one we're creating up north instead, we should, assuming that we haven't managed to seize Antioch by then, because that's what we're going to do. We're going to hold our line here. We're not going to be trying to take these cities here. We can just... <clears throat> excuse me. We're just going to be holding the line here and pushing with everything we got down this way. Because if we can take this rich heartland, not only will it give us a lot of money, but it'll also remove a lot of the cities that they will be able to pour troops out of. Because I'd imagine that these two stacks probably came from these cities here. They were scraping the bottom of the barrel trying to grab enough reinforcements to throw up at us. I'm imagining though that that's not all their armies. I should think that there's probably some more guys coming out here. I don't know. I just do not know. That is the problem with the fog of war, is that, uh, well, in the literal sense, it fogs everything up. You cannot see. And that is a major issue. I think we can take whatever comes out of here. Yeah. If we can kill the general as well, we'll definitely have it. But we need to hold the line. Hold the line. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a quick break here. And in a moment, I will resume the session. I just need to get myself a bit of coffee. And we shall see what terrible, terrible slaughter comes from this attack that they're sending at us. I'm not pleased by the appearance of two more full stack armies and two halves. That's, that's not a pleasing thing for me, but I'm hoping that there's nothing in this pass coming straight for us. Because there could be. There really could be. Do we have one more? Yeah, we have one more spy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send him up here too. I want to make sure that there's not somebody coming. Can you... Oh. <laughs> well, that was useful. Actually, no, that, that's not too bad. He could probably just stay there. I'd like to... Yeah, we need to keep these mountain passes open. We need spies to see everything so we know where the solutions are coming from. Because... As the defenders now, because that's sort of what we are, we're mostly defending our own territory that we've captured. As the defenders, we need to be able to pull back and have a defense in depth. We need to. It's very, very important. But anyway, as I was saying, I'm going to go grab a quick coffee, and when we return, we'll be facing off against the Seleucid invader, because we totally didn't steal these lands from them. They totally were ours all the time. We never stole them once. Never.